Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, what's up? My name is Lauren and I make a lot of fun fashion, beauty related style videos with my dog, Sugar. She is an almost one year old Shih Tzu, but I would love, love for you to subscribe to my channel, keep on watching and enjoy all the fun. Today we are talking about everyone's favorite topic, everyone's favorite part of life, acne. I don't want to go too much into my story because I kind of want to have like a whole acne series. What helps with my acne, what doesn't help, like skin routine, things like that. Today I'm simply focusing on the foods, the good foods and the bad foods that I know affects my acne and I know that helps my acne. So that is what I'm talking about today. Quick little overview if you're new here and if you haven't heard, I have probably had acne since I was like 18 years old when I went to college, I basically had like a terrible lifestyle that like ruined my hormones. I stayed up super late. I had like 9 a.m. classes, so I wasn't taking care of my sleep schedule. I was eating like crap. I just didn't take care of myself and it just wreaked havoc, havoc on my skin. I pretty much had pretty clear skin in high school and then college came and it was like, since graduating college, I've been a lot smarter about my body and what I eat and what I do. And that is the biggest change that I've seen in my skin. I still have breakouts. I mean, you can't tell a whole lot because I have makeup on. I have scars. I am not perfect in any way. That's probably like the biggest thing that I've always been insecure about and hated about myself is like my skin. But I'm 25 and I'm like, I shouldn't be breaking out and my mom reminds me every day that she still breaks out and she's in her 50s, so it's just a part of life. That being said, I'm gonna show you, have written down the foods that I know I've seen a difference in my skin and the foods I know that just literally kills my skin. So that is what I'm gonna be talking about and sharing my insights to you. It's probably been a year since I really realized and read and deep dove and noticed that like oh maybe food is what is causing my skin to like hate me so i did a ton of research there's actually one specific youtube video that i watched from a girl who's on the bachelor who has acne and like talks about her story being on accutane and i've never taken accutane i have taken pretty much every prescription under the sun and nothing's cured it so Food is the only thing I know. Your gut health is the only thing I know for me personally that keeps my acne at bay. My New Year's resolution was to not eat any processed sugar this year. And well, that hasn't happened. I did so good. I read all the food labels. I made sure to keep up with my sugar intake. I only had fruit for sugar. My skin was beautiful and then COVID hit and I was stuck at home and pretty much the only foods we could buy was junk food for a while and that's all I ate and my skin went back to being bad so that being said I'm gonna start off with I'm gonna actually list a good food and then a bad food so I'm gonna alternate so with the good food I'm gonna start off with probiotic shots it's from the brand called Farmhouse Culture. I buy it at Sprouts. They have it in some other different like flavors. It's basically fermented cabbage water. And that like sounds disgusting, but it has a very high probiotic content. I literally take a shot glass, like an alcohol shot glass, fill her up, plug my nose and take it twice a day. So when I wake up, and when I go to bed. When I wake up, it's important, I think, to start off with something, a probiotic, because there's nothing in your stomach. And a big thing about taking probiotics is it run, does best, you see the best results from it in your body when you eat good foods with it. If you're taking probiotics, yet you're going to McDonald's eating french fries, it's, it's not going to do anything for you. Me personally, I know this because I've done it. When I take probiotics and when I eat like crap, my skin is still crappy. 
when I take probiotics and I don't eat crappy, my skin is glowing. Personal experience, don't come for me if yours is different. It's from Sprouts. I actually just ran out and I've thrown away thrown away the bottle so I don't have it to show you but obviously I'll have a photo here and a link below to purchase it like I said it tastes disgusting but the benefits are a plus a bad food that I eat I actually ate these last night my bad food that I am I love and if you live in Texas like Tex-Mex is the bomb.com tortilla chips even at home like having Tostitos I'm always eating chips and salsa and I just don't think about like the deep fried, like fried greasy things makes my skin just awful. I love tortilla chips, but they're the worst for you, sadly. Um, great alternative, I'm going to give you alternatives to these things, is Trader Joe's plantain chips. I buy like three bags of them. Obviously, they don't taste like tortilla chips. They taste, they have the same kind of texture. They're a little bit thicker, but they're still great with salsa. They're great with guacamole. If you absolutely hate them, the Siete brand makes a grain-free tortilla chip that are Whole30 approved. I love both of these options. They're great Whole30 options if you can't give up tortilla chips. Next one you're gonna hear in every single video that you watch here on YouTube about acne. It is what it is. I didn't believe it, but it's the truth. Good old H2O. You guys, I feel better. I look better. I'm all around just to have better mental health when I'm drinking my water. I have so much more energy during my workout. I used to work out and when I would sweat, I just knew like I'm going to break out. After my workout, I'm going to have 10 new bumps. And when I drink a gallon of water before my workout during the day and I sweat, I'm just sweating that water back out and it's doing nothing to my skin. So just keep that in mind when you sweat, you're sweating out whatever you intook into your body and that's what it's going to do to your skin when you work out. So. That is what I do. Water, H2O, don't forget it. My favorite thing to do is to drink out of a water bottle that has the timestamps on it. There's one from Amazon that is my favorite. I'll have a photo and link below. If you are just struggling to drink your water during the day, you're like, I forget, I hate the taste of water. This is a great option for you to keep you on track and have you drinking more water. All right, something bad. Obviously, I've already talked about this earlier in the video is sugary things like sweets, pop tarts, cinnamon sugar pop tarts, amazing. And uh, I just thought about them and they're so good. But there's so much sugar, there's like 30 grams of sugar if you eat them. And that's like your daily intake of sugar right there. That's probably more than your daily intake. And I just know it's not good for your skin. Like sugar, just straight sugar in itself, I know it makes me break out. I will eat a donut and I kid you not, by the time I leave work that day, I will have a new pimple every single time. And I, it might have nothing to do with the donut that I ate, but I just know that it was that, it was that dang donut that they're so good, but it's just, it's gonna make you break out. And I hate it, but it's the God honest truth. All right, another good thing that I love, it's a good sweet, it's a good breakfast. Um, like sweet alternative is berries of any kind strawberries blueberries raspberries blackberries that has the name berry in it girl get it because it's antioxidant good for your skin eat them all up I know some like bananas me personally bananas are very high sugar content for a fruit so I try to stay away from those because you can still get breakouts from fruit like you just can't you can't win ever <laughs> So I try to eat berries because they're more of an antioxidant and have a lower sugar content. I'm, don't quote me on that. But I just know that I've never been steered clear of eating berries because they're so good for your skin and just your body in general. Anti-inflammatory, all the good stuff. Eat it. This one is also a struggle for me because Chick-fil-A waffle fries are just delicious. But french fries, they're not good for your skin. They're deep fried, they're greasy, and they will make you break out. This one 
is tough because I love a good potato. I try, if I'm really needing french fries, I try to just eat sweet potato fries. I know it's like still deep fried, but it's not so, I don't know. I just know that sweet potato is better for you than like a white starchy potato. So I try to eat the sweet potatoes rather than white, just regular french fries. But either way, if you can steer clear of them, it's a hard one. It like breaks my heart to even tell you guys that one because I am a salty, more of a sweet person and that one just really, really tugs on my heartstrings, but steer clear. This one is disgusting and some people love it. I personally like gag when I eat it, but the probiotic content in this y'all is through the roof and it is called kimchi. Also cabbage, but it's like fermented with like this seasoning. I get it from Sprouts. It's disgusting. I just take a fork and like grab a like whole bunch of it and plug my nose and eat it twice a day, more kind of morning. Like I try to do like twice a day. Sometimes I forget in the morning and just do it when I get home from work, but it's good for you. Um, another thing about probiotics is you're not, if you cook with it, I've heard that it kills the probiotics. So try to eat it when it's cold, not cooked. I mean, it probably doesn't like hurt still to eat it cooked, but I've always heard to not cook the probiotic. Try it out. I'll have a photo link below like usual if you're interested, um, but some people love the taste of it and you might. All right, another one that's bad for your skin. And I was actually kind of shocked. I really wasn't educated about foods for a while. But I didn't know that wheat is a really bad one for your skin. Actually, a girl from work told me about it, how she breaks out really bad from eating wheat things. So like wheat bread, whole wheat, even though whole wheat is so like advertised as better for you, it's still an um, inflammatory for your skin. So bread is a bad one. I love a good burger. I love the bread from Cheesecake Factory, like, ooh, it hurts. But it is what it is, and bread is not good for you. So, what I like to do, if I want a cheat meal, but I don't want to go all, all out, I will go to In-N-Out, and I'll get a protein-style burger, so that's the lettuce wrap, and fries will be my cheat, because I prefer fries over bread. But if you're the opposite, and you have to have the bun, then get the burger and no fries. Maybe, I don't know, try it out. My last good food for your skin is teas, specifically a turmeric tea. Turmeric is a very, very good anti-inflammatory for your skin. So if you can get this specific turmeric tea, it's the brand Tastings, I believe. I actually have it in my pantry, but I forgot to grab it, but there'll be a photo here linked down below. It's delicious. I drink it twice a day. I'll take them to work and drink one like when I first get to work in the morning and like when I'm about to leave, sometimes before bed, like as much tea as possible. Also green tea. I get the decaf green tea because caffeine, I usually drink it at night. I don't want caffeine at night. So I'll get decaf green tea. Green tea is just like great for your skin um, in general. And I'm not gonna say like I drink this and I'm automatically like, ooh, like my skin looks really good but I just feel like it like detoxes my body in general and I feel like when I have all these things coming in that are like anti-inflammatories and detoxers it's just like fighting all these bad things in my body that's how I feel so I'm just gonna keep doing it okay my last one and this one is not widely talked about or widely known about so I feel like I really need to talk about it and it is soy products in general you guys when I would go get sushi I kid you not, I would pretty much drink the soy sauce. Like, I love soy sauce because I love the salty. Like the salty, just like, oof. I would get edamame and just like suck the soy sauce off of it because I just love soy sauce so much. And like the sushi rolls, I would just dunk them, like delicious. And I look back during those times I would do that and my skin was terrible. And then when I heard about soy just being not good for your skin, it all made sense. It truly all made sense because I love soy sauce, but I've stopped eating it. 
Trader Joe's has a good coconut amino substitute that is also salty, it doesn't taste the exact same, but it is a substitute that you can try if you're interested. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in to my video about foods and how it contributes to your acne. If you're interested in more acne videos, I am gonna have a playlist or a series started about acne because I've got a lot to talk about. Just know that this is temporary. You're not gonna have acne your entire life. And that's what I try to think about when I'm having really bad breakouts or when my skin just looks really bad. I just tell myself like, my face isn't gonna look this like this the next week. Like your body will heal itself and it's gonna be okay. At the end of the day, you're gonna survive. This doesn't define you. And never forget that you're beautiful. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Bye.